It's almost St. Patrick's Day and that means it's time to kick off some Irish themed cocktails. This week we're going to make an Irish maid. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt and I'm a whiskey nerd. I'm Rose and I'm a whiskey new. And this week, like I said, we're making an Irish maid. Now, have you ever heard of an Irish maid? Well, like an actual person who is an Irish maid, yes, not the cocktail. So it's kind of like a riff on a whiskey sour. So classic whiskey sour is two parts citrus, one part sugar and one part citrus. Mm -hmm. Whereas this kind of uses a little bit of elderflower syrup. Some of them might use a bit of lime or some different ones because there are a couple of different variations. So if you use gin instead of bourbon, you're gonna get an old maid. Or if you use Irish whiskey, you're gonna get an Irish maid. Are there any other kinds of maids? There probably are out there. Actually, if you know any other maid variations, let us know in the comments below. So for an Irish maid, you are gonna use whiskey. We're gonna use two ounces of Tullamore Dew Irish whiskey. We're gonna be adding to that three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce of sugar syrup, and half an ounce of elderflower liqueur. Do we make the sugar syrup? Yeah, I made the sugar syrup today. I was wondering what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is gonna give you that kind of classic whiskey sour vibe, okay. but because the elderflower syrup, it's a bit floral, it's still sweet, mm -hmm. it's gonna give you that balance. But it's not there. a strong flavor, elderflower. It's like a nice little, it kind of comes through things, yeah. right? So this drink is very fresh because we're also gonna be adding in a couple of slices of cucumber and huh? muddling them to get those juices so it should be a nice light kind of summery drink. See I thought I was going to get a spa day with that cucumber just like right here and then you know cocktails come to me and everything but maybe yeah. not so much. Maybe not so much but Next this cocktail <laughs> should be nice and refreshing. Okay cool. So it's a shaken drink so we're going to get our shakers here. Yeah? And I'm not going to shake no. it. <laughs> but first off we're actually going to muddle up two slices of cucumber in the bottom of our tin to get those juices out because if you just shake cucumber it's too hard you're probably not going to get the juices out that way i don't think we've ever made a cocktail with cucumber before i didn't know i didn't even think you could muddle a cucumber yeah well you can can uh, you see, muddle anything you can muddle pretty much anything so we're just going to muddle push your these down. husband <laughs> i wouldn't say muddle your husband if you get but, angry <laughs> uh, we're not going to do too much we're just going to get it down a bit to get the juices so you can get the smell. Ah, oh yeah, that's cucumber. Yes, yeah, so that'll release those oils and flavors from the cucumber. And then we're just gonna go in with our ingredients and then we'll shake it up with ice and then that'll be fine. Cool beans. So we're gonna go in with two ounces of our Tullamore Dew Irish whiskey. Tullamore Dew, it's nice, sweet, kind of simple entry-level Irish whiskey. It's not complicated, it's not gonna overpower the drink. You're gonna get those floral notes from the uh, elderflower, the kind of fresh notes of the cucumber coming through. So it'll be fine like that. We're going to go in with three quarters of an ounce, about 22 ml of our... It's so thick! Sugar syrup. Yes, yeah, so this is a nice rich sugar syrup I made. We're going to go in with three quarters of an ounce again of our lemon juice, so the same amount. Like that. And then we're going to go in with half an ounce of our elderflower liqueur. This I'm so curious as to like how all these flavors are going to taste together because I would never have thought about like pairing elderflower with like the was it lemon juice and then homemade sugar syrup and all this stuff. So like this is like I don't even know what to expect. Well, hopefully a nice drink. <laughs> so we're gonna ice that, pop a shaker on, and shake it down for about 20 seconds. Okay, that's nicely chilled now. Condensation! Exactly. So we're going to pop our lid off and we're going to strain it out, but we're going to strain it onto a nice rocks glass with a fresh rock ice in it. So we're going to just get our shaker, get our lid on top, and we're just going to pour it out. Mm. So you shake it with ice and then you add another ice cube. Yeah, so that nice fresh ice should keep it nice and cold and should control the dilution. Okay. Because all the other ingredients went in here, so that'll probably have this ice melting quicker with this while it's nice and cold. Okay. And then for a garnish, I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. Cucumber wedge over the edge. Well, it looks nice. Yeah, there you have it. An That's Irish part wedge. one. <laughs> so, would you like to taste it first? Oh, okay. Or should you taste it first? You should have a go first. <laughs> Let's see. You definitely smell cucumber on the nose, but then there is a cucumber right here as well. Oh, that's way nicer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it's because the cucumber has that kind of 
fresh overpowering aroma. Once you get into it, once yeah. you taste it, you get the elderflower, yeah. you get the lemon, you get the whiskey, you get the sugar. Yeah, because I will admit, when he was shaking, he mulled that cucumber, I was like, oh, that's a lot of cucumber. And then he saw it, was like, oh, that's a lot of cucumber, well, oh, less cucumber. And then you yeah. taste it, and you're like, oh, that's actually a well balanced yeah. cocktail. The, the lemon really does hide that cucumber, it makes it nice and refreshing. Like, it, make, it balances it a lot. Like, this is a drink you could drink a lot of rather than a whiskey sour. It's got that punch. It's a bit harder to drink it quickly. Like, yeah. this is absolutely a summer's drink. I say we uh, cut up two more of these cucumber slices, put them in my face, maybe I'll get a straw. Mm. And I just kind of sip, sip, sip away the little yeah. face mask. I've actually made a long version of this as well where I added a ginger ale on top. Ooh, so this? I think that works quite well. It kind of lengthens the drink out. It keeps those flavors. Mm. But it just makes it a bit easier to drink. So if Here you want to have like a really hot summer's day, if you had a barbecue or something like that, you don't be drinking two ounces of, of whiskey right away. Could you make a pitcher of this for a barbecue? Yeah, you absolutely could. So would you do anything different with this? Well, let's go in again and see. Yeah. Hold on. Like, I don't think so. Like you get different bits of yeah. the flavor mixed in. And like, it's still, I don't know, like, the flavor is still strong enough that if it's diluted a bit, you still get a lot of the really yeah. good flavors. Like, I can kind of tell like the elderflower, the sugar syrup, a little bit, this is not overwhelming, a little bit of the lemon juice, like all mixed together. Like, it's honestly a really nice drink as it is. And like, I was dubious about all of the cucumber in there, but like, you don't get tons of cucumber on the taste. It's a really nice, well-balanced drink, I think. Yeah, it is. It's actually a really good, good drink. Good job. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a really good drink, especially heading into St. Patrick's Day. If you're looking for little twists on those classic cocktails, if you're familiar with cocktails, but maybe you don't want to go into something that requires hundreds or hundreds of different ingredients, bit of cucumber, bit of elderflower liqueur, happy days. Happy days, indeed. Give it a go. So I think that's where we'll leave it this week. I think that was a very successful outcome of this week's cocktail. If you want to see more videos like this, we put out new whiskey reviews every Wednesday and cocktail recipes every Friday. So subscribe, you will see them all. And until next time, let's launch it. Bye bye. I was so dubious of this whole thing. When you melted, I was like, ah, oh, God, this cute in my face. <laughs> I was trying to hide my reaction.